Hello dear friends! Now you will see another selection of coolest products from Amazon sites. All links to the products in the description below the video. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell. Let's go! Melody X all-in-one system. Encounter the embodiment of high-quality audio in a small cabinet. Experience the perfect alliance of power and musicality. Discover the signature design and audio excellence carrying the renowned Marant spirit. Explore the unique sonic richness with four powerful amplifiers built in. Connect two pairs of speakers with separate volume control or tie all power to drive even demanding floor stand models. The Melody X is the blueprint of versatility. Listen to every source you like, your favorite CD, your latest streaming playlist. Even enhance the sound of your TV. You can also seamlessly integrate the Melody X in your Heos multi-room universe and conveniently control it with your voice. The Marantz Melody X all-in-one system. Amplify your passion. Because music matters to you. Hi there, and in this video we're going to be taking a look around the new A9110 budget stereo amplifier from Onkyo. And as you can see, it gets its looks from its big brother, the A9130. But first, let's take a look over the front panel to see what we're getting. Across the front of the 9110, we've got a recessed standby button. There's an IR receiver eye. We've got bass, treble and balance, which can be used just for minor tweaking to get the sound just the way you want it. There's a motorized volume control. There's a pure direct button. Now this will actually completely defeat the bass, treble and balance. And then there's the phase matching bass. So PM bass or phase matching bass, what does it actually do? The best way to think of it is like an intelligent loudness control and we all know that loudness controls tend to be used at low volumes to help fill out the sound. Now the major drawback with using a loudness control is that you get a phase shift in the low frequencies and these problems can occur even up to 300 hertz and this in turn is detrimental to one of the most important areas which is the vocals and essentially everything becomes blurry and muddy with a lack of detail but PM bass has been designed to eliminate all of this muddiness which allows everything to snap sharply back into focus so carrying on with the front panel we've got a very simple elegant input display which is accompanied by a rotary input dial. You just spin it round till you get to the input that you want. It's as easy as that. And then lastly for the front panel, we've got a headphone socket. And for the metric among you, it's 6.35 millimeters. Or for the Imperial among you, that's a quarter inch. 9110's remote allows you to control all of the parts of the amplifier. Not only that, using our proprietary RI link, you can actually control one of our CD players as well. Now I think we've covered everything across the front, so now it's time that we went round to the back panel and take a look at all the connections. Now first up is the dedicated moving magnet phono input. Then we have four line level inputs and a line output. We've also got a pre-out for a subwoofer and our speaker connections for left and right. Speaker binding posts will actually accept 4mm banana plugs but you have to remove the safety plugs first. This can be done really simply by just using a pair of pliers that you can just pop out the plugs. This then gives you the option of using banana plugs or alternatively, you can unwind the posts and use normal bare wire. Now the 9110 boasts 50 watts per channel using our rack amplification. And I will be doing a separate video talking and discussing about what rat amplification actually is. 
support the rat amplification there's a massive EL transformer inside along with custom capacitors for the best possible sound quality. Now I think that covers everything that you need to know about the A9110. If you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.